Welcome back to Tech and Trek. Picture this. You wake up one morning and everything's changed. The world outside your window is a blinding white expanse of snow and ice. The air bites with a bone-chilling cold, and the silence is eerie, broken only by the mournful howl of the wind. This isn't some post-apocalyptic movie set, it's the terrifying reality of a frozen apocalypse. Our planet is changing, and the threat of a frozen apocalypse is now a chilling possibility. Knowledge and preparation will be your keys to survival. This isn't the time for complacency, this is a call to action. The frozen apocalypse isn't about surrendering to despair, it's about understanding the dangers and equipping ourselves to survive. We'll strip away the Hollywood drama and give it to you straight. We'll explore the potential triggers of a frozen apocalypse and the crucial skills you need to master. This is about adaptation, resourcefulness, and the will to survive against all odds. Over the next few sections, we'll equip you with the knowledge and skills to face the freeze head on. Let's get started. The first step in preparing for a frozen apocalypse is understanding what could cause such a drastic shift in our planet's climate. Climate change, primarily caused by human activity, might seem at odds with a frozen apocalypse, but disrupting the Earth's balance can lead to extreme weather patterns. Melting glaciers could disrupt ocean currents, plunging regions into a deep freeze. These changes would likely manifest as a gradual but relentless cooling. Volcanic eruptions could also unleash massive quantities of ash and sulfur dioxide, causing a volcanic winter. A super eruption could have far more devastating and long-lasting consequences. Beyond our planet's atmosphere, another potential threat looms. Asteroid impacts. A large enough impact could trigger catastrophic events, generating immense heat and shock waves, followed by wildfires. This debris could block sunlight for months or even years, leading to severe global cooling. While the odds are low, the potential consequences are severe, warranting our attention and preparation. Understanding these risks allows us to develop contingency plans and explore ways to mitigate the impact. While natural disasters pose a significant threat, we must also confront the potential for human-made catastrophes. Nuclear winter, a chilling possibility, remains a concern. A large-scale nuclear war would release unimaginable amounts of soot and smoke, causing a rapid drop in global temperatures. The resulting nuclear winter could last for years, leading to widespread crop failures and societal collapse. Geopolitical tensions and accidental launches could have catastrophic consequences. Our technological prowess carries inherent risks that we must acknowledge and address. In a frozen apocalypse, shelter becomes a sanctuary against the relentless cold. Insulation is paramount. Windows and doors need to be sealed tight. Consider creating a smaller living space within your home that can be more easily heated. Heat rises, so set up your living space in an upstairs room if possible. The goal is to create a space where you can conserve energy and body heat. Maximize your chances of survival by focusing on insulation and strategic living arrangements. Fire becomes your lifeline in a frozen apocalypse. Matches and lighters might be unreliable, so master primitive fire starting methods. A fire steel is an essential piece of survival gear. Practice using it until you can consistently start a fire in any weather condition. Learn about different types of firewood and how to create a sustainable fire. A well-built fire pit can provide warmth, light, and a means of cooking food. Clothing becomes your first line of defense against the cold. The key to staying warm is layering. Start with a moisture-wicking base layer, followed by insulating layers, and finish with a windproof and waterproof outer layer. Don't forget about your extremities. Invest in a warm hat, insulated gloves, and thick wool socks. Consider carrying chemical hand and foot warmers for additional warmth. Pay attention to any numbness or tingling in your extremities, as these are early warning signs of frostbite. Surviving a frozen apocalypse demands a shift in mindset. Embrace the unknown and adapt to new challenges. Connect with others to forge bonds of community and support. The isolation of a frozen world can be as dangerous as the cold itself. Work together to overcome the challenges ahead. As the frozen apocalypse tightens, food becomes a precious commodity. Stock your pantry with non-perishable foods like canned goods. Stock your pantry with non-perishable foods like dried foods. Stock your pantry with non-perishable foods like protein bars. Rationing is crucial from day one. Determine your daily caloric needs and stick to them. 
keep a meticulous inventory of your food stores. Your pantry becomes a testament to your preparedness. Every bite counts in a world where survival is the only imperative. To truly thrive, learn to live off the land, even in winter. Edible plants like pine needles, birch bark, and rose hips offer sustenance. A field guide to edible plants is invaluable. Trapping small game can provide a much needed source of protein. Learn to build simple snares and traps using natural materials. Nature's hidden pantry can be a lifeline in a frozen world. In a world where rivers have turned to ice and lakes lie dormant beneath a blanket of snow, water might seem deceptively abundant, but consuming snow directly can lower your body temperature, pushing you closer to hypothermia. Melting snow is essential. A metal pot over a fire transforms snow into safe water. Seek sustainable sources for long-term survival. Learn to purify water using various methods. Clean water can be the difference between life and death. The world has transformed into a vast, unforgiving labyrinth of ice and snow. Familiar landmarks are swallowed by towering drifts, roads disappear beneath a pristine white blanket, and the horizon stretches endlessly, a monochrome canvas offering no clues, only stark, breathtaking beauty. Movement, once taken for granted, becomes a calculated risk, a delicate dance between necessity and self-preservation. Venturing out into this frozen wilderness demands more than just warm clothing and a sense of adventure. It requires careful planning, a keen understanding of the terrain, and the skills to navigate a world stripped bare by winter's embrace. Before you take your first step into this frozen unknown, assess your surroundings. Study the lay of the land, noting any potential hazards. Treacherous slopes prone to avalanches, frozen bodies of water that might not support your weight, or dense forests where disorientation can quickly set in. Remember, what might appear as a solid, snow-covered field could conceal a hidden stream or a treacherous crevasse. Caution, always, is your constant companion. The art of snow travel. Walking through deep snow is an exhausting and potentially dangerous endeavour. Your steps become laboured, your energy reserves quickly depleted. This is where specialised equipment, designed for such unforgiving terrain, proves its worth. Snowshoes, those ingenious extensions of your feet, distribute your weight over a larger surface area, preventing you from sinking into the soft snow. Learning to use them effectively takes practice. The payoff is immense, increased speed, improved efficiency, and a reduced risk of exhaustion. If your journey requires covering long distances or traversing challenging terrain, consider cross-country skiing. Faster and more efficient than snowshoeing, skiing allows you to glide across the snow, conserving energy and covering more ground. Mastering the techniques of cross-country skiing requires practice and instruction, but the rewards in a frozen world are undeniable. Whether you choose snowshoes or skis, always travel with a partner whenever possible. In the event of an accident or unexpected challenge, having someone to assist you to share the burden and to provide support can be the difference between life and death. Finding your bearings in a world adrift. In a world where landmarks disappear beneath a blanket of snow and the sun's arc across the sky offers little guidance, maintaining your sense of direction becomes paramount. A compass, that timeless tool of navigation, transforms into a lifeline, guiding you through the frozen labyrinth. Learn to use it effectively, to orient yourself to the cardinal directions and to follow a bearing with confidence. But a compass alone is not enough. A map, even a rudimentary one, can provide invaluable context, revealing the lay of the land, potential obstacles, and possible routes to your destination. Study your map carefully, noting key features, elevation changes, and potential water sources. Learn to recognize natural landmarks, distinctive trees, rock formations, or even the patterns of snowdrifts that can help you pinpoint your location and maintain your bearings. Remember, technology, while helpful, can be unreliable in a post-apocalyptic world. Batteries die, signals fade, and GPS devices can malfunction. Don't become overly reliant on technology. Embrace the timeless skills of map and compass navigation, honing your ability to read the landscape, to interpret natural signs, and to find your way in a world where the familiar has vanished. The cold within. It's not just about weathering the external storm, it's about confronting the insidious chill within. Hypothermia, the silent killer, lurks in every snowdrift, every icy blast of wind. It's a gradual descent, numbing the senses, stealing your awareness. Recognizing early signs is crucial. Time is of the essence. Shivering is your body's desperate attempt to generate heat, but it also consumes precious energy reserves. As hypothermia progresses, shivering might subside, a false sense of security. Don't be fooled. This is a sign of deepening danger. In a frozen apocalypse, even minor injuries can become life-threatening. A well-stocked first aid kit is essential for survival. Know how to use your first aid kit effectively.
frostbite requires immediate attention. Recognize numbness, tingling, and waxy skin. Move to a warm location and remove wet clothing. Warm the area with body heat or warm water. Hypothermia demands immediate action. Insulate and offer warm drinks if conscious. Seek medical attention immediately. In the desolate landscape of a frozen apocalypse, security takes on a new urgency. Your shelter now stands as a fortress, a symbol of resilience. Securing your shelter is about taking responsibility for your safety. Establish boundaries in a world struggling to define a new moral compass. Start by assessing your shelter's vulnerabilities. Windows can be easily breached. Reinforce them with boards, metal bars or heavy furniture. Doors require robust fortification. Solid core doors with deadbolt locks and security bars provide a formidable barrier. Physical barriers are only part of the equation. Personal security becomes paramount. Learn basic self-defense techniques to deter an attacker. Self-defense is about asserting your right to safety. While securing your immediate surroundings is essential, true security in a frozen apocalypse extends beyond your shelter. It's about forging alliances, building alliances, building a network of trust and support. The human spirit is not meant to endure such hardship alone. Community becomes the bedrock of survival, a beacon of hope. Seek out others, those who share your values and determination to survive. Pull your resources, share your skills, and work together to overcome the challenges ahead. A group can accomplish far more than any one person alone. Remember, in a frozen apocalypse, the warmth of human connection is vital. As we've journeyed together through the unforgiving landscapes of a frozen apocalypse, exploring the skills, knowledge, and mental fortitude needed to survive, one recurring theme emerges, the indomitable nature of the human spirit. Faced with unimaginable challenges, stripped bare of the comforts and conveniences of modern life, we discover within ourselves a wellspring of resilience, adaptability, and sheer will to live. The frozen apocalypse, for all its stark beauty and unforgiving demands, becomes a crucible, forging strength from adversity, testing the limits of our endurance, and revealing the extraordinary capacity of the human spirit to adapt and overcome. It's easy to succumb to fear, to allow the overwhelming nature of the challenge to paralyze us into inaction, but survival hinges on confronting that fear, acknowledging our vulnerability, and choosing to act, to equip ourselves with the tools and the mindset to face the unknown with courage and determination. Every fire we learn to build, every meal we scavenge from the frozen landscape, every step we take through the snow-covered wilderness, reinforces our belief in our own ability to survive. It's a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a testament to our capacity to adapt, to overcome, and to find hope, even in the darkest of times. Survival is only the first step. True resilience lies in emerging stronger and more connected. The frozen apocalypse presents an opportunity to rebuild and create a sustainable way of life, rediscover essential values of community, resourcefulness, and respect for nature. Imagine a world where material pursuits give way to warmth, shelter, and human connection. Self-reliance becomes essential, fostering purpose and accomplishment. Communities work together, drawing strength from collective wisdom and resilience. The frozen apocalypse can be a beginning, a catalyst for change. Rewrite our story as thrivers, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. Let this guide be your companion, a source of knowledge and inspiration. Stay warm, stay prepared, and never lose sight of your inner power. Thank you for watching Tech & Trek, where we explore the past, powered by the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more survival guides and adventures.